Okay, let's look at question number 9. They said I have to find the quadratic equation. They gave me turning point and they said the equation passes through negative 1 and 5. This is also a point, this is also a point. Both lies on the quadratic curve themselves. It's just that because this is a turning point, then this is a little special. This is our vertex. So, I have turning point passes through. My aim is quadratic equation. Since you have turning point, the form that you are interested, the quadratic equation, instead of getting ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, rather than getting this, you can actually use this completed format this is much easier why i have a vertex right so i can change and then write it this way a x plus 2 squared plus 3 see usually you will have this and then you will be able to write the turning point but now if they give this then you should be able to do the reverse way so let's put this as the y i'm almost done i just need to get the a value Okay, so if I am drawing negative 2 is here and then the y value is here 3. So, I don't know whether this is a happy graph or sad graph. I don't know. So, I know the vertex is somewhere here. So, I need to get the a value. How do I know that this is happy or sad? They gave me another point which is negative 1 and 5. Correct? So, take this and put into the curve. Put into the curve. So, let's solve. 5, a negative 1 plus 2 squared plus 3. So you get a 5 minus 3. You get a 2 a and then 1 squared. It's a 1. So my a value is 2. So since a value is 2, the equation is 2 x plus 2 squared plus 3. And I know it's a happy one. And then I go and do something like this. So in, if you visualize, this is what you get. And some of you, of course, you will expand so that you can write the general form. Eleven. Okay.